If your house is like many of the homes in the Milwaukee area, you have concrete right up against the house, either a sidewalk or a pavement like this. Well, concrete is okay. Water doesn't run through it. It flows along the top. The problem is that water can flow away from the house if it's pitched the right way toward the house if it's the wrong way. So check the pitch. You do that with a level. You can use a long one like this, a four foot level or a shorter one. Doesn't really matter. You're looking for a pitch of about a quarter inch per foot. And that means over a four foot length like this, you would like the house side to be about one inch higher than the outside edge of the level. That allows for water flowage away from the house. Now, if for some reason it's not working that way, that you've got it pitched toward the house, then take a look at that joint between the house and the sidewalk. If that joint is open, that crack is available, that's just a funnel waiting for water to be poured against your basement wall. So it's important that you fill that crack. It's not a difficult thing to do, but it's important to keep your basement dry. Filling in cracks in concrete, no matter where they are, isn't all that difficult to do. The trick is to not use too much filler. Well, for a filler, you want something that sticks and holds up for a long time. Polyurethane sealants are probably the best. Yeah, you got to clean up with mineral spirits and they're a little sticky, but they do last a long time and they stay flexible. The trick is to never make a caulking fill more than a quarter inch thick. Well, to do that with a big crack, you got to fill the bottom of the crack. You could pour sand down there if you like, but an easier way is to use these foam backer rods. You can buy long tubes of them at a hardware store. Get one that's a little bit bigger than the crack itself and then push it into place. If you find a place where it's a little too tight, you can take a screwdriver and just push it down there. It doesn't matter as long as it leaves just about a quarter of an inch at the top to fill. Then when you fill it, spread the filler right over the top completely. We'll start this tube and push some out here. And that's all we're really doing. This is self-leveling, which is kind of nice on a soft surface or a, a sidewalk surface like this because it'll level itself out and you just squeeze it into place. If you want to disguise the appearance of this, throw a little sand on here while it's still wet and that'll fill in nicely. Notice the self-leveling stuff will now smooth out and it'll stay waterproof. That's the important part. And as the slab moves a little bit, it's not going to crack and come open. That's where the polyurethane is the biggest help. This works well wherever you have concrete around the house.